Hey guys, it's Yam and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Yam and I make videos about beauty, lifestyle, travel, weekend vlogs, and personal finance. Today, we will talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of having a credit card. If you haven't seen my other credit card related videos yet, my credit cards 101 or credit cards for beginners, my credit card experience, the process and the requirements, how to get a credit card if you're still a student or how to apply for it, and the best credit cards for students here in the Philippines, make sure to watch all of those videos after watching this one. And I will also put it on the description box down below, so make sure to check it out. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it so you will be notified for more videos from me. Credit cards often get a bad reputation, but the truth is they can be a key financial tool if used responsibly. Here are some of the top advantages and disadvantages to consider before you add a shiny new card to your wallet. For the advantages, number one, convenience. You don't have to worry about how much cash you have on hand. Just remember that you can always use a debit card instead. With a debit card, you won't be in danger of accumulating debt that will be subject to high interest charges if you don't pay it off each month, like you would with a credit card. Remember to keep track of your checking account balance to be sure you can cover what you're buying. Number two, record keeping. A credit card provides a useful record of your spending through your monthly statement and online account, which would also be the case if you relied on your debit card for spending. Some credit cards do send year-end summaries, though that can be a great resource when you're doing your taxes. Number three, low-cost loans. You're getting your paycheck in five days. But there's a purchase you need to make today. You can charge your purchase now and pay off the charge after you get paid. The key here is to make sure you will be able to pay off the charge by the due date. Number four, cash advances. Although I would never ever ever recommend this one, you can get money when you need it. Be aware that cash advances often have higher interest rates so it's important to make a realistic plan on how to pay those advances. Number five, member perks. With some smart shopping, you can choose a wide range of discounts or cashbacks based on your purchases. Compare the cards available to see which perks best fit your need and spending habits. Number six, build a good credit history. Using a line of credit by making purchases and paying them off on time will help you get a good credit rating from credit rating agencies which will make lenders more likely to lend you and offer you a good interest rate. And number seven, lastly for the advantages, purchase protection. Your credit card may step in to help if you want to dispute a charge or return a defective product. While a debit card may offer similar protection, you will have to wait until the issue is investigated before getting your money back. Now let's go to the disadvantages of having a credit card. So what are these? Number one, temptation. Since they're so easy to use, they also make it easy to overspend. Number two, interest charges. If you buy something and don't pay it off immediately, you will end up paying not only the purchase price but also the interest charge on them. In other words, if you carry a balance, all your purchases will end up costing you a little more. Number three, fees. Some accounts have annual fees. There may also be fees for cash advances along with high interest rates. In addition, you may spend more on interest and fees than you earn in discounts or cashbacks. Make sure the benefits outweigh the costs. Number four, monthly security. You must review your bill each month to confirm that it accurately reflects your purchases and that there aren't any signs of fraudulent use of your card. Remember that credit cards are prime target for scammers. And lastly, number five, tricky short-term teaser rates. A low interest rate may seem like a good deal, but many people are surprised to find that the rate was only temporary. If you don't read the fine print, you may pay far more interest than you expected. And that is all for today's video, guys. If you learned something from me this week, please don't forget to click the like button, comment down below any credit card 
suggestions, video suggestions, or comments, just leave it there. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it to be notified whenever I upload new weekly videos. This has been Yummy. I'm saying goodbye and see you next time. Bye!